What's up y'all? Keith Dykes here with WKD Construction and welcome to my channel, man. As you see behind me, we've got a we've got a ton of stuff going on here at the Melton Farm project. The stone veneer is nearly completed. The garage door is installed. Most of the siding is is on. We like this gable and that other gable to finish up. All the roofing is done. Uh, we've been we've been concentrating on the inside. Hardwood's done. Most of the tile is done. All most of the painting is is done. We're trying to get ready for the cabinetry, the cabinetry to be delivered, which hopefully will be next week. Uh, in, in my weeks, not not you on video weeks, but uh, <laughs> we, hopefully we're just trying to get concentrate on the inside. That way, when the cabinet sky is ready, we can install it, get the tops in, and we will can get this thing wrapped up. On today's video, we are going to install a septic tank. I don't know if some of y'all even even have ever even seen that. A lot of, a lot of places, I'm sure, have sewer, uh, city city utilities. Uh, we are in the country. We are a very rural area out here in the uh, country, so we have to put in our own septic tank and field line. I will not be installing the septic tank. I have a sub that does that. I've been using him on the past couple houses, uh, Scotty Harden. So he will be here tomorrow and uh, get started on that. You do have to be state licensed to install septic lines, septic tanks, field lines, repair work, whatever it is. You do have to be state licensed for that type of a work. Uh, I am not. I'm just a licensed general contractor. Uh, so we'll, we'll go through the steps on on kind of the permit and the health department and kind of kind of our press our process that we have to do here in uh, Northwest Tennessee. Well, I've called uh, Scotty, my septic tank guy, and I believe he should be here this morning. We are going to well, of course we 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 stubbed out right here under the footing with our pipe we got a three inch pipe stubbed out from the plumbing in there so uh he'll just tie into that put a clean out and then the septic tank the septic tank will be a uh i think it's a thousand gallon it's a concrete tank so he'll come dig the hole level it up uh southern concrete will bring a tank i believe southern concrete will bring a tank set it and then he can run from here out there and all of the field line goes out in this area right here I don't know exactly how many feet of field line I'll have to look on the paper from the state but uh, I'll look on there and see see how many feet of field line that we're gonna use and we'll probably you'd be using a chamber pipe too which is a gravelless type of field line before we start before I even read out the first question I usually ask anybody when they when they have their own land is uh, and we know we're going to use septic is you got to you got to make sure it perks which you got to go to the health department do a perk test you give them a certain amount of money I don't even remember what it is uh, and uh, they'll come out dig a hole see how good the soil drains uh, and then from that they can tell you how many feet of field line you will need or even if you even if it will perk I and mean, some some places around here has got so much clay in it it won't perk uh, so so and then they do have to locate it they might have to dig two or three different places on the property and uh, find a good place that will that will allow for the drainage that you need for your septic system here in my area in Big Sandy Tennessee you go to the Benton County Health Department and uh, get all your permits and you deal through them they come out, like I said, do a perk test. After they do that, they give you this sheet, uh, which is a drawing. Basically, you got to know where the house is, and uh, they will kind of draw out and tell you where where the fill line needs to go. Like right here, we've got the house with a uh, 75 feet from the house to the fill line after the tank. And then on the tank, or I mean on the fill line, we got one, two, three. 330 feet of field line and that 30 uh, 330 feet of field line needs to be 24 inch minimum depth with uh, 30 looks like 
30, 30 inch max, max depth. So here it kind of explains it a little better. Uh, this system shall consist of a two compartment septic tank of 900 gallons, 320 feet of linear, uh, linear feet of fill line in three to four trenches, 36 inches wide, uh, 24 to 30 inch max depth. So it's all explained. Just got to get you, uh, you just got to have a guy that is state licensed to install your septic tank and then you're ready to go. We'll set the tank. We'll fill it full of water, put some water in it, he'll bury it, and then we can actually hook all the commodes and, and toilets and sinks and everything up and start using it. And then, of course, he'll have the field line, but it'd take, it'd take a lot of water to fill the tank up before it start actually getting into the field line. But uh, we just put some water in it. That way, if we have a heavy rain, <laughs> the tank won't float because it is, you know, of course, two chambers, it is hollow, and, and they can float if... Uh, <laughs> if the certain case arises. We're going to set the tank about 20 feet from the house. We've got a three inch line that comes out of the house. Oh, like I said, they're going to do a clean out and then into the tank. And uh, three inches plenty here. <laughs> I know a lot of people like four inch, but I mean, if you fill up, if you, if you fill up a four inch uh, pipe, uh, you need to change your diet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> three inches plenty here in uh, where, we're, where we're at in Tennessee. So, eight six by five is the tank. So he's got to be uh, have a little bit of an overdig to get his tank in there, and then the bottom has got to be completely level. The tank has got to set level. So he's got dude down there now, and he's gonna try to dress it up, get it nice and flat. Check out their progress. So it's gonna come out of the house into the tank and from the tank it comes out and into their first trench. And they are not using a chamber pipe. They're using a gravelless, uh, looks like a 10 inch. I think it's a 10 inch, I'll ask, I'll ask Scotty here in a minute, but it is a gravelless pipe and then they will keep this on level and then it'll should come over into another ditch come here jump and come around that way it keeps everything uh 
keeps everything level and then their crossovers which will go from ditch to ditch should have fall into it that way once the water comes down in here the the dirty juice gets into here levels up fills up goes over into the next one and comes and so on so on well i missed the darn truck set in the tank but there it is push pipe goes into there little inspection cover here into one chamber i can't pick that one up right off hand and uh should have a i don't know if it's right in the middle or right here <clears throat> but there's two chambers got a divider where the hole goes over into this one all the solids break down into here then the the liquid goes into this chamber and then it comes out of the outlet and then flows down and into the field line and there is the field line well that is a four inch pipe with uh, i don't know i guess it makes about 12 inches worth of peanuts styrofoam peanuts around it uh when scotty gets back i'll i'll ask him about that system i'm not too familiar with it i'm mostly familiar with the chamber but I'll ask Scotty when he gets back. I think he took off and went to lunch. So this is just a gravelless pipe. Just a yeah. easy flow pipe. Do you usually use that instead of chamber? Well, I've been just using it. It got where you couldn't get chamber for a long time, and I just swapped Started that. Started using that. that. And then I do most of my dealings with midway. All right, so we should have three ditches. Each ditch will have a crossover, which explained to me is it comes out of this line, 90s up, falls over into the other line, then, then you know, just keeps kind of doing the process over and over. But he, uh, I thought it was gonna be chamber, and he uses this easy flow pipe. He said once, I guess a while back during COVID, all the uh, chamber pipe was back ordered so he swapped over this and he's not had any issue versus what the chamber chamber fill line does he's, he's had a lot more issues out of the chamber than using uh, the styrofoam easy flow uh, gravel system if there are three ditches dug 110 feet long a piece and now they're getting ready to do their crossovers hook all the pipe up and then he's got the dozer and he'll clean all this dirt up after it gets inspected the state inspector will be here in a little while and uh, they will get it inspected Somebody. swimming pool <laughs> Everything past inspection. So you're just gonna take it up, get it all, get all the fill line covered up, and move that big ass dirt pile. So there is a crossover which runs, keeps it, ties every line together. So there was our stub out. He put on a uh, sweeping uh, T, I guess is what it is. Got it tied into the tank. And then put a clean out on it in case we ever have to do anything. We can run the uh, roto tool down there, a snake in through there, clean out the clog, and then you can actually dig up the tank if you have an issue as well. But
Oh, look at that. That pile of dirt is gone. Everything's about smoothed out pretty close. Man, that looked better. Fall show. Now we gotta get that pile of mess out of the way. Well, Scotty got all of the uh, grade, the dozer work done. Dre kind of dressed everything down. Uh, got this pile of crap moved, so that looks a million times better. But uh, yeah, he did a really good job. Took him two days. Well, day he left about 1 30, 2 o'clock, so a day and day and most of the next but that's 330 feet of fill line thousand gallon septic tank and probably 20 to the tank and another 40 so 60 70 feet of a three inch drain pipe to get to the fill line so we got he got in here got it done and now uh we're ready to hook up we're ready to hook up the toilet son get the plumbing hooked up as soon as the cabinets jump in we can start hooking up the sinks and all that good stuff now and uh yeah so we are getting very close here on the melton farm project all right y'all that's it that was our video on uh how how a septic tank gets installed once again i am keith dykes this was how to install a septic tank thanks for watching and yes sir you know, you know, I'm going to say, got it, coach.